right hand too low. Can't call him a chin like that, man. Orlando Jordan. How you doing? How you doing? Good, good. Take a hey. It's an honor to finally be able to introduce myself to you, man. Well, that's cool. The reason I came over here, I wanted to talk to you about what happened last week with John Cena. Yeah. Now, I know you're a young man, and you're trying to make a name for yourself here on SmackDown. But listen, <clears throat> you got to realize you got to pay dues here. Paying dues here means you go out to the ring every week, you get your ass kicked. You pick yourself up and you come back the next week and you try it again. Nothing's free here. You earn your victories out there. But that little beat down you took after the match, see, that don't fly. See, if you let guys like John Cena do that to you, you're not going to have any respect. You don't have any respect that's going to continue to happen. And you're not going to go anywhere here. So what you have to do to guys like John Cena is you got to go up to him and you got to challenge him. You got to let him know what you're all about. You got to let him know you got a set. And when you do that, you'll get his respect. And you'll get all the respect of the guys in the locker room. You'll get my respect. And most of all, you'll get the fans' respect. All right? Definitely. It won't happen again. Oh, it's okay. It's great. It's okay. He's hating on me over there. It's okay. Y'all having me a little moment. That's okay. I'm on fire right now, you heard? Yo, me and you had something like that way back. What happened, man? You dropped me like a bad habit. Orlando, don't let this white boy right here brainwash you into catching another beat down. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Undertaker, I think you're forgetting. I'm a veteran now. So let me give you some advice. One veteran to another. Watch whose business you stick your nose in. You heard? Everybody got to learn the hard way.